G'day guys, Josh here. Now we're doing the quest Spirit Jars, which is probably one of the most frustrating quests ever. We have to basically fish up these jars from this lake, basically. And it basically leads it up to RNG to whether you get the water elemental or you get some other, you know, jar, basically. You can get one or two jars in a fish. You can even get three if you're lucky. Now, the quick way to identify which jars are correct is that all the jars that have all the uh, things in it share a one second cooldown. So, <coughs> what you want to do is you, <coughs> you want to unlock the jars one by one and you want to see which jar shares a cooldown with another jar. This is really, really important because that jar will contain, and then either it's going to contain the right elemental or the wrong elemental. So basically, if it contains a water elemental and another jar goes on cooldown, that jar will 100% contain the water elemental okay so if you've got two of those that share a cooldown you've 100% got the quest completed okay now we're going to finish up a lot of jars which is going to sacrifice my mining quest for a bit but who cares can get a life energy pressure pretty easily anyway because i've got a lot of crystal and a lot of gold so it doesn't really matter but at the moment it's going to fish this up now this quest is basically just fishing all this stuff up see how i caught through there so basically in the jars it can be a random mob or the well boss for the island soul or the water elementals that you need for the day quest of water tornado elementals. I gotta say right now this quest is super 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 duper frustrating just an FYI. It is not fun. Um, once you get this reputation done you should never do this quest again. This one's probably one of the worst quests like it doesn't give a good reward either. Which is the worst part. This quest can take up from 5 to 10 minutes as well. Probably even longer. So this is uh definitely not worth it if you're uh, anyone doing this so that's pretty much it it's going to catch a few more as well i uh, just a bit of update myself as well uh yeah uh, i had a pretty rough night last night with covid but recovered after having a big coughing fit early on but had a good night's rest i'm not sure when i'll get back to streaming i don't think it'll be anytime soon i might wait till my isolation period is done or if not i could do a few no cam streams if i feel ready for it now you can see here the chat as well, people looking for sailing and stuff like that as well. But yeah, I would say with streaming, like, I'm not really ready to get back into it. I did some games earlier today with Zine and Pyong, if you're watching their channels, so... It was pretty good. And I felt pretty good afterwards, but I had a fever midway through. Which wasn't good. But I still played despite it. So let's get a few of the jars. Let's show what I was talking about. So let's get to of jar area. So basically, to get to one of these jar areas of jars from fishing them up. Now, what I'm talking about here is if you right click one, if any of them share a cooldown, that is not the one that you want to be. Uh, if any of them share a cooldown, it's the one you want. That's one you want. So I already know that I've got two Savnak jars in here, and I know this one's a Savnak jar. So I can just throw this one out because I don't need it. Even before I got it wrong, but anyway. Then you do another one. So I know this one's bad as well, so I don't put this one in, okay? So I put this one. So since this one's a bad one as well, none of them went on cooldown, it means that we're fine. Now, since none of the other ones went on cooldown, we are also fine. And then, if you have a, if you have another one going on cooldown during that water tornado part, it means that is the water tornado one, okay? That means that you should be using those. Now you can see here, like with these ones, you don't share any of them. Oh, there's the water tornado one as well. I guess I didn't see that one go off cooldown. But you can see here that, you know, the ones that you do have do go off cooldown and stuff like that. So just be aware of it. And that's pretty much how to do this quest. Thank you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys have a great day. You have to be pretty quick to see the cooldown. It's a split second cooldown. So you have to be paying attention to your inventory screen when you right click it. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe.